Hi, my name is Arun from Charles Institute. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very important topic for DHA Heart Prometric Exam. Not only for these exams, this topic is really important for all central government and state government exams. Okay, it's pediatric vaccination schedule from zero to six years. At least one question you can expect from this topic for all these exams okay so this topic is really important so let's dive into the session now so let's discuss the vaccines given at birth at two months four months six months 12 to 18 months and four to six years okay so in this video i know it's very difficult to remember the names of vaccines given at this specific time so we'll be discussing some tips and strategies some mnemonic that will easily help you remember the vaccines names okay so let's start just remember this point this is a repeatedly asking question vaccine the vaccine given at birth okay so let me write the name of the vaccine given at birth here it's hepatitis b so this is a repeatedly asking question for many exams the vaccine given at birth is hepatitis b for hepatitis b virus okay this is a really important question and the vaccines which are given from at two months okay so let me separate this the vaccine given at two months are hepatitis b hepatitis b hip vaccine dtp which is diphtheria tetanus and pertussis polio pcv pneumococcal vaccine and rotavirus vaccine so these are the one two three four five six vaccines given at two months okay now how do we remember this these five vaccines okay so we have a strategy to remember these vaccines okay so let me explain you that strategy to remember the name of the vaccines so just remember this mnemonic humming birds humming birds hip humming birds hip detached detached due to due to polio and you give pcv after review okay just remember this mnemonic what is that hummingbirds hip detached due to polio pcv was given after the review this hummingbird is hepatitis b the first vaccine hepatitis b hip vaccine okay hip vaccine which is hemophilus influenza type b detached dtp this is how we remember the diphtheria tetanus and pertussis detached due to polio polio is the next vaccine and pcv this is pneumococcal vaccine and finally rota virus okay so one two three four five six vaccine yes there are six vaccines given at two months and this is how we remember them easily right so next is four months it's super easy to remember the vaccines given at four months because the reason is why they are so easy to remember because just you remove this hepatitis B from this list just the vaccines given at two months are all these six from that list you just remove the hepatitis B and write all the other vaccines hip vaccine DTPA so DTP vaccine polio PCV and rotavirus so this is how we remember the vaccines given at four months one two three four five these five vaccines are given at four months 
Now coming to the six months, again it's easy to remember because the vaccines given at six months of age is exactly similar to the vaccines given at two months. Okay, so just copy all the six vaccines here. That's all. So let me write them down here. Hepatitis B, hip vaccine, DTP, polio, PCV and finally we have the rotavirus. So these are the six vaccines given at six months. So easy to remember. Now 12 months, the vaccines given at 12 months of age. Let me write them down here. They are one by one. The first vaccine is MMR. Okay. DTP. Third vaccine is chicken pox, which is varicella, varicella, chicken pox. Okay. So we have PCV and hepatitis A. Two doses. First dose of hepatitis A is given at 12 months usually and the second dose is given at 18 months. So two doses of hepatitis A against hepatitis A virus, MMR, DTP, chicken pox, PCV and hepatitis A. And how do we remember it? So let's remember the strategy to remember these five vaccines given at 12 to 18 months. So this is a strategy. Just remember this mnemonic my mother is resting my mother is resting because because of chicken pox chicken pox and detached hip detached hip i gave pcv she said ha just remember it in this phase. So I have to include one more vaccine here. So remember it now. It's hip vaccine, Haemophilus influenza type B. So there are six vaccines, not five. And how do we remember them? My mother is resting because of chicken pox and detached hip. PCV was given and she said ha. She was okay and she said ha. This is how we remember it, okay? So my mother is resting is MMR. Chicken pox vaccine, which is varicella. Detached is DTP, hip vaccine, okay, so it's written here, and the hepatitis A. There are two doses, one at 12 months, second dose is at 18 months, okay. So the vaccine is given at 12 to 18 months. And finally, the vaccine is given at 4 to 6 years. The vaccine is given at 4 to 6 years are DTP, MMR, polio and varicella which is again chicken pox vaccine how do we remember it how do we easily remember the four vaccines given at four to six years so this is the strategy here the strategy we have here is diabetes mellitus we know diabetes mellitus can cause three p's okay remember those p's right p's and diabetes mellitus, we know it can cause uh, vaginitis. Vaginitis. So just remember it in this way. D stands for DTP, M stands for MMR, P is polio, and V is vaginitis. Okay, so these are the four vaccines given at four to six years, right? So believe me, there is an increased chance of at least one question for all these exams. Like I said before. For all these exams, there is one question you can at least expect from this topic, vaccination schedule. Okay, so let's move on to the uh, route of administration of these vaccines. Okay, so the vaccine given at birth, hepatitis A, this is injected uh, intramuscularly. And hip vaccine again intramuscular, diphtheria, tetanus and pertussis, intramuscular polio vaccine is given orally or intramuscularly okay so there are injectable polio vaccines which are inactivated we call it ipv and opv is active vaccine which is a live vaccine 
given already. PCV is intramuscular, rotavirus is oral and, and the vaccine MMR, MMR vaccine is given subcutaneously, okay, chicken pox subcutaneous and yes, that's it, that's it. So we have discussed the route of administration as well. Now let's discuss both killed and live vaccines. Okay, so the list of killed vaccines and live vaccines. So the killed vaccines are hip vaccine. This is killed, and we have the hepatitis vaccines. Hepatitis A, both hepatitis A and hepatitis B are killed vaccines. We have pertussis vaccine. Pertussis. Pertussis vaccine is killed and rabies the cholera vaccine flu vaccine which is given as injectable that is killed inactive flu vaccine and we have ipv vaccine and typhoid these are the killed vaccines and the live vaccines include the live vaccines are opv this is live and we have bcg and nasal flu vaccine so this was injectable flu that was killed this is nasal flu vaccine is a live vaccine and the next vaccine is chicken pox chicken pox vaccine yellow fever yellow fever vaccine and MMR these are the live vaccines okay so the killed vaccines hip hepatitis A and hepatitis B pertussis rabies cholera flu IPV and typhoid live vaccines are OPV BCG nasal flu vaccine chicken pox yellow fever and MMR vaccine